Hey guys, this is Alex with another service call. Uh, the air conditioner in this unit is leaking. It could be two things, two, three things here in this property. I know it could be different, uh, more reasons why, but in this property, it's either undercharge and the uh, coil is iced up, or uh, the tray is clogged and we need to clear it. We need to ride it, so we'll see. Don't go anywhere, I'll be right back. So we are here, uh, I removed, I removed this ceiling panel here. And if you see this one is bowing big time, it's ready to fall and it's leaking as well. Look at this. Whoa, it's, it's bad. So um, I'm gonna check my tray. This is my tray here. Or if it's uh, low on Freon, the whole evaporator is gonna be leaking. I told him to unplug it a couple hours ago, so I'm not gonna know if it's low freon until I put my gauges. Uh, so this is my uh, condensate drain, and this is my drain here. And I put it in my hand inside the tray, and it's not full. So I don't think it's gonna be the drain because otherwise it would be full. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna pour some water on, t on the tray and see if the water goes uh, through the drain as it's supposed to. If that's the case, then it's more likely the unit is undercharged and uh, we need to look at it. So I'm gonna pour some water in the drain and then we're gonna see here if it, the water goes through the drain. So if you see the water passing through, I saw it. So this is my fifth cup and the water is going through the drain. If you see through that hose, tell me if you see the water, see that's the water running. It is draining, it's not coming back through my drain. It's not backing up here. So um, of course that tells me that my tray, my drain, it's fine. So these are the coils, uh, they are not frozen. I told the customer to turn the unit off when he told me, so he turned it off this morning. So if it was a frozen evaporator, I wouldn't have to wait a few hours or I didn't have to spend a few hours uh, thawing the ice. Hey guys, here I'm here in, on the roof and part of me I'm screaming so you can hear me over the uh, condenser noises so uh, today I'm using my Testo smart probes as you can see here I have a one pressure gauge on the suction line as well as a clamp and I have a blue dot representing the low side right here and for this high side, I have a red dot. And if you see here, I have a red dot as well. So I have an outside temperature, and then I have a probe, a temperature probe in the return to get my wet bulb. Now my wet bulb inside the apartment is 58, and the temperature outside is 95, so this is the one that is measuring the outside temperature and I have another one in the uh, apartment by the return. As you could see here, my uh, low side is 63 PSI and my high side is uh, 256. The temperature in the evaporator is 36. It's kind of low, we want it a little bit higher. This air conditioner has a piston, so we're gonna charge based on superheat. Uh, if it's too much superheat, then we have to add refrigerant. If it's too low, uh, superheat or nothing, we have to recover refrigerant. And uh, the superheat is 20, which is a little bit high. 
uh, we are gonna add a couple ounces just to bring the superheat to 13 is what it's calling and uh, the app is doing everything because I have a temperature sensor on the return duct and then I have my outside temperature and the uh, the inside probe is measuring wet bulb and uh, of course the one outside it is measuring outside temperature and I can show you here uh, it shows that uh, my um, my wet bulb inside the apartment is 58 degrees and the temperature outside is 100 degrees so we're gonna add a couple ounces just so we bring the uh, super heat down to 13 so watch with watch this number as we are refrigerant I'm just adding a little tiny bit because it's not that bad so I just opened it a little bit twice and now my superheat is 137 13.5 so uh, it's almost right on the dot so we're gonna call it good and remember I just added a couple open it and close a couple times so maybe not even an ounce okay now we're good now we're gonna remove all our sensors and we're gonna call it good thanks for watching guys see you next time thank you so much so I'm repairing, uh, it's not the tray, but it's part of the box of uh, the evaporator uh, coil, you know, and these are uh, 30, 40 years old. There's no way we're gonna get something parts. So I'm gonna epoxy this corner. I'm gonna epoxy that corner. And hopefully it doesn't leak anymore. I shut the unit off so it stops dripping. It's been a couple hours, so now I'm gonna smear some of the epoxy that dries in 15 minutes and hopefully that does it. So I put some epoxy in the seams of, uh, of that uh, square, which is the evaporator cover, evaporator box, whatever. I didn't want to replace the whole thing because we never done it in 50 years. So it's it would be so hard so I put a epoxy and then a magic tape metal tape it's been running for two hours so it's good it's not dripping we're good all done I just put the ceiling tile what a pain in the butt to work on these tight spaces so yeah that's uh, this building for you thank you so much